Thanks for joining us this week at the Skunk Juice Studios. This week, my little bakers and me chose a fun book to share with you. A sweet book called The Tasty Taffy Tale and Super Stretching The Truth by Barbara Johnson. The Geranium Lady series. Love her. Are you eating her taffy? <laughs> Blend it, bend it, shake it, make it. The geranium lady hummed as she mixed the secret ingredients together in a giant bowl. Now it's time to cook it, Michael said, looking at his stopwatch. This was their last secret step. Michael and the geranium lady was hoping that this recipe would win next week's Top Tasty Taffy Contest. Oh, how exciting! Taffy! Woo! Yes. Together, they made the perfect team. The geranium lady came up with the secret ingredients while Michael carefully calculated how long and at what temperature to cook the taffy. Ding! The timer signaled and the taffy was ready. The geranium lady poured the batch of taffy out onto a giant platter. When the taffy was cool, Michael pulled and rolled it into long strips. Super delicious, said Michael as he tasted the chewy, gooey taffy. Yes, the geranium lady said with a smile. I think this taffy just might win the first place trophy. On the day of the contest, the judges tasted the taffy from everyone who entered. There was thick taffy, thin taffy, double-decker taffy, even silly taffy. At last, Tommy Teflon, the announcer in the fresh press suit, took the stage to reveal the number of the prize-winning taffy. As the crowd held its breath, Tommy Teflon called out, Number 12! <gasps> Michael and the geranium lady had created the tastiest taffy in town. <gasps> Yay! As the geranium lady and her young friend said a prayer of thanks, Michael sprinted toward the stage. He couldn't believe he had won. After their prayer, the geranium lady and the kids looked around for Michael. He was already accepting of the award by himself. Congratulations, Tommy Teflon said to Michael. A gleam flashed from the announcer's perfect teeth as he handed Michael the top tasty taffy trophy. You must really be a great cook to have created this terrific taffy, said Tommy Teflon. Yes, Michael bragged. I just came up with this recipe last week. Michael's friends could not believe their ears. How could Michael stretch the truth so much? They all knew that the geranium lady had put together the secret ingredients for the taffy. Just then, Michael saw the geranium lady in the crowd. He knew he wasn't telling the whole truth, and he began to feel guilty for taking all the credit. Michael was trying to sneak off the stage when a chef's hat was plopped on his head. As a special treat to our audience, said Tommy Teflon, the winner will now make his tasty taffy right here on stage. What could Michael do? He knew the exact temperature to cook the taffy and the best way to pull it, but the only the geranium lady knew the secret ingredients. Everyone was watching. In order to hide his first lie, Michael decided to try to make the taffy himself. Michael mixed ketchup, syrup, whipped cream, peanut butter, and pickles with some other items he found on the table. As the ingredients cooked, 
a neon glow began to sparkle through the mixture. Oh my, exclaimed the geranium lady. That's not my secret recipe. She tried to help Michael, but the judges would not let anyone else on the stage. With the glowy glob was cool, Michael tried to pick it up, but it slipped out of his hands and bounced across the stage. Wumpy the dog thought it was a ball and dived after it. Oh my. Wumpy caught the taffy in midair and started to run. Michael held tight on one end and watched helplessly as the strange taffy stretched and stretched across the stage. Wumpy circled around and around the stage until Tommy Teflon and the judges and Michael were completely tangled and twisted in glowing taffy. This tastes terrible, a judge said as he licked the taffy wrapped around his head. You couldn't have made the winning recipe. You'll have to give back the trophy. Once untangled, Michael ran straight to the geranium lady, still covered in bits of taffy. He said, I'm sorry I lied about the recipe. I know God wants me to be honest, even when it's not easy. Stretching the truth is always messy, said the geranium lady. Then, with a smile, the geranium lady added, When you say things that aren't true or leave out things that are true, it's like mixing bad ingredients into a recipe. It leaves a bad taste with everyone around you. Michael agreed, and he promised never to stretch the truth again. Tell each other the truth. The end. Thanks for joining us for this sweet book this week. The Tasty Taffy Tell and Super Stretching the Truth. Want you guys to have a great week. Please remember to read, mask up, read, wash your hands, read, wash your paws, read, wash your hands. Thanks again, and we will see you next week. Bye, guys.